thousand voices singing in the rain There's nothing that I wouldn't do Cause I'd move mountains if you asked me to I'd swim the seven seas I'll be the one to hold your torch again I'll do anything you ask So last week blog was a disaster, I take criticism from it, we didn't really organise it all, didn't think about what we was doing, but today this is all changed because I've got my agenda here, my iPad, and I also have like the teams in that, just got to help me. So you know, you've got to build upon criticism because if you don't, you're just going to get yourself down, just no good. So I'm, I'm staying positive for try, another try, you know, if this fails then, you know, might think about it, but you know. Give me criticism because that's good for you. Anyway, so today I'm filming in my bedroom. This I filmed my sister's bedroom because this place is a mess. But now it's nice and tidy. I'm quite happy with it. And I'm sitting on my bed. Um, but as you can see behind me, I have this, which is the season. This is um, two seasons ago. Way top of last season, but I had two seasons ago, and I got David Prop to print it on, and I got him to sign it because I liked him. Nobody else likes him, but I liked him. This is my sign top, and I can't remember how long ago it was. I think it was like four years, three years ago. My mum and dad got it for me, which um was quite good. I quite like it because it's got like simpler joint like dunk that can't really be at all of them. Um. picture as well and I got this top from David Proctor two seasons ago at the last game of the season he just came over and gave it to me which I think is really nice but he really does support his um, support so anyway it's my bedroom I like it here so anyway I'm going to start <laughs> so on Saturday I went to Keith and we won nine no Good to have a clean sheet. And um it was a good game. Um so I'll talk just talk about like the scorers and that. Um obviously it's good to have Gary Warren back. He got the first. Nice to be trading that like, header from him. Good to have him back in the team because he was injured last season, end of last season, which was no good, missed them load. Chrissy got two goals. He I think he's quite confident. He'll come confident in front of the goal, which is good to see a young player willing to get them goals in. Obviously, Shinny's still scoring. Good to see him. Um, he's a good wee player. And he's a grafter. He really is. Billy Mackay got a hat trick. I was slagging him off in the first half. I don't know why I put my hands up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I should have. I'm very bad. But it just took him a wee while to get going. He was there for you. He was trying. Don't get me wrong. Like, But it's good to have a wee hat trick for him. Good boy. Uh, Nicky Ross obviously scoring, he's a good player. Um, I think he's going to get more games this season than he did last season. He did get a game last season, but he's on your than that. And then obviously he got a Shani, um penalty, which is good because like he missed. He like kicked it, but like he like missed. But then he got the rebound, so 9 0 was a good score. Um, there's quite good um, players in there, I must admit. Um, Nice wee header, um, nice wee Christy, I also talked about Paul Worth as well, he tries hard as well, he's a good after. At the pitch, you know what I mean, trying to get the balls in and that. And obviously Connor, care to get him, I think he lacks a bit of, he's good, he's got skill like that, but he wasn't outstanding last season, but I think he's going to bring it back this season. Which is good. And... Coops, he's a grafter. He's another grafter. He played well at the back today. Um, today, what am I even on? On Saturday. Yeah, he played well at the back on Saturday, which is good. Like, he, he wasn't outstanding last season or that, but he was young, so, you know, he's going to improve, and I think he's just going to keep on improving. Um, so, 
the team on Saturday was we had Ryan a goal for the first half. He still a decent keeper. I think he's safe in goals. Abril is good. He's not Abril, but he's good, I think. But he's going to take him a while to get used to the team, obviously. And he, Ryan was shouting the odds at everyone, telling them what to do, <laughs> as per usual. Then we had Matthew Cooper at the back, Graham Shinney, James Vincent, Gary Warren, Josh McKings, Billy McKay, Liam Paulworth, Ben Greenall, um, Grant Christie and Nick Ross, and the subs we had Dean Burrell, Marley Watkins, oh, I'll talk about him after, Danny Devine, Connor Pepper, Joe Gorham, and, and Adam, Adam, I'll talk about Adam Evans as well, and Callum Ferguson. So, loads of youth there to start with, like, the only player I can think of that are probably over 25 or Ryan Nice in there. And um, can you show anyone to get by the age now? And yeah. And Dean Brill, the two keepers. <laughs> the whole team is very, very young indeed. Um, obviously, we were missing still Doran. Doran? Foran. And. On the on right forum that he was back on yesterday, which was Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, we're still missing some of the bigger names, and oh 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 Draper as well. He wasn't there either. That's cause cause like yesterday they were there, so I was getting a bit confused there. Anyway, um. I think it was a decent team. Um, I don't think Kiefer, like, really, like, I mean, like, even by Highland League standards, but it's so good for the players to have a van out, get some goals, you know, and it's good for them to really experiment with a few things, you know, say this works well and this doesn't work well and move on. So it's just a good way of, like, seeing the new players in that, really, to see what they're made of in that. So decent score, good to get a clean sheet from both keepers because that Brill was on in the f second half and Ryan was on in the first half. Um, yeah, um, um, one notable player. I'm not very good at remembering him. It's hard. It's a long time ago and I have a rubbish memory. But I noticed Adam Evans. He's a trier. He wants the ball to him 24-7. Not 24 7, but he's always shouting for the ball. Which I say is nothing wrong with that. You know, he wants to score, but I don't think he's really, um, you know, brilliant. Yeah, but I think is he's one, he's eager, he's eager to please, you know, which is good to see in a player. He wants to show that he's worth it. So I think we shouldn't shout him if he misses things and that. But he will learn in time. And I think he's only. 19, possibly 18, 20, about that mark. So he's relatively young, but, you know, don't judge him too early. Like, I'm not trying to judge the players too early, but I have seen a few good ones. And, so yeah, um, it was a good day. Um, and then, yesterday, last night, we played Forest at Forest. Decent run out. A much harder team to play, I must admit. They're slightly class above Keith. Quite hard, quite wanting to get in and get more physical, I would say, more than for the tackles than that. So it's a bit harder. But we've got a Billy Warren hat. Billy Warren. <laughs> so that's player we Billy Mackay hat trick. Good to see him. I back again. But obviously, we had Foreign back, which is good. He looks quite. I don't know. He looked about. Um, like, I don't know. Some, I thought he started to lose it. My, somebody said to me that he looks younger, but I think he looks older. I don't tell. Anyway, so our team was Ryan Nelson, Matthew Cooper, Graham Shinney, Marley Watkins, Gary Warren, Danny Devine, Billy Mackay, Liam Power, Richie Foran, Ben Greeno, and Nicky Ross. Subs were Dean Brill, Josh Meeking, Josh Daper, Connor Pepper. Ryan Christie, Joe Gordon, Gallon Ferguson, Adam Evans. So that was your team. 
So, um, some players that really stood out for me were, again, Bingino. Bingino. He's good. Great up the wing. I think people were talking him up and I was like, you know, maybe, maybe not that. I can see good things coming from him. We really can. So, I think it's right to talk him up because I think he's going to walk the walk, as they say. He's talked the talk, now he's walking the walk. Mark um, Walk is a brilliant run right up the pitch but got injured. No, disaster. He's good. I like him. He was good. But I really hope he'll be serious injured because I think he's going to do well in the SPL to be honest with you. Um, as I said, Richie Forum is back. Ross Draper back. Good to have them back. I think we needed a bit more experience playing against Forest, who has a decent keeper, I must admit, he's a good keeper. We had quite a few chances that I reckon that some goalies would have missed, but he was bang on, so fair play to him. Obviously, we had the same keeper, um, Ryan, in the first half, and um, um, a Dean in the second half. So, yeah, <coughs> new keeper, uh, <laughs> don't do moments with him, but. You know, he's never, he's not really played with the guys before, so he's still kind of getting used to it and that, but he will improve, you know. Just don't make some of them six, I hope he doesn't make any mistakes if he has to play in SPR cat matches. But I'm not saying that he's bad with that, because, but, you know, but I feel Ryan would have made mistakes like that, so we can't just, you know, rule him out. And as I said, Doran, what, and Raven. I haven't featured yet. I'm a bit disappointed because I like Don. <laughs> I miss him. I've not seen him in ages. Which kind of sucks. And obviously, um, Raven's really good as well. So it's about this point not to see them. But hopefully soon. Um, so what else might I say about Forrest? The other ghost came in the first half. So yeah. But we did, we, not like we did try. We did try in the second half. But, you know, um, Obviously Adam Evans come on and he actually really scored as well. I was like, no, but you know, I um, remember Gollum coming on. He was good. I'm rubbish. <laughs> I should write the match report. Josh came on as well. Pepper came on again. He was better actually to um yesterday and he was on Saturday. I also said Adams came on do I think Ryan Christie Christ Christ came on, I remember that. The last So yeah. It was good, and yeah. Quite enjoyable. I knew we weren't exactly gonna get a 5 0 win or that, but you know. Hey, yeah, it's a win. And plus, these games are really for like trying out first more than anything, than like a winning like 10 0 or something like that. Anyway. So the next game is Elgin v ICT and that's a Saturday for the call. I won't be there because I'm working. Lucky me. But I'm a bit disappointed but hey ho, cool. I've got to get money somehow, won't I? And then we have Broda at half seven on Tuesday away to Broda. So I'm um, hopefully my shifts will work out so I can go because I'm way on holiday on Friday, so my boss will be nice to me and give me nice early shifts. And then you've got Clark on the Wednesday, which are at seven, so it's quite early, but it's not a far to go. So it's, and you get home like at a decent time, like I don't know. You get home actually quite early, I would say. So it's not bad. And then you've got Faith. The ICT on the twentieth, but I'm not going because I'm not. Well, I'm, I'm not on holiday, so I can go. Unfortunately, which bit suck. But hey ho, I want to get away from my work. <laughs> I'm joking; it's not that bad, but it's just good to get away. Even though I know I'm just going to Blackpool and like, going to go abroad a lot, but I know Blackpool's good out anywhere because I like it. I don't care what people say. <laughs> it's fun, you know. It's good. I, I really like it. And I'm actually going to see Fleetwood. I think if I'm going, they're playing Coventry, which I think Hart lays the manager up. 
anyway, so that, I, I think that should be quite good going to see another team play. So, until I've seen any decent players there, that's not probably sort of plays Cali would put a sign from teams like Fleetwood, which is not a bad thing, so it's probably a few gems to be found. Anyway, so that's it. I really hope this one's worked out better than last week's one. Anyway, um, I'll do another vlog. I don't I'll see when I'm working on that. I might do one on Thursday before I go away. If hopefully. If I've been to any games or not. I'll see, I'll see. But you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Ria I C T. There'll be a link down below. Follow me on Instagram. Um, which is the link down below, which is Miss Ria D. So I'll leave you now. I'll speak to you later. Bye.